Hey, thanks, Mike. You guys, I'm just getting the easy, cheesy spaghetti squash out of the oven. I topped it with cheese and put it on a low broil so it would get that toasty, gooey look. So what this is, is it's a low-carb recipe that features proteins and plants, which is the perfect way to keep you fueled, especially if you're wanting to lose weight or just be healthier on the inside. So let's make it together. It's super simple. And if you remember a long time ago, it was a few months ago, we made spaghetti squash together. This is what it looks like. What you're going to want to do is slice it in half, okay? And this is what you have. You can't even see the strings right now, but you'll set your oven to 400. Usually I just drizzle this with some olive oil, sprinkle it with some salt, and then put it face down on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Pop that in the oven until it's golden brown. And this is what it looks like when it comes out. See, they start to come off in beautiful spaghetti strands. Now, I personally don't think this tastes like spaghetti itself. There's no way to duplicate pasta, but it is delicious stuff, especially if you let it get some of that good caramelization on it, which is what you want. And we're just going to make this as its own lunch bowl boat. Think of it like that, okay? So let's start off in this bowl. We are going to add just a few ingredients. First, a whole can of tomato sauce. I love using red gold because they're right in Indiana's backyard. And then a little bit of tomato paste, just a couple tablespoons. Remember we called that the espresso of the tomato world. Gives this rich, intense flavor. Then green pepper. We want that diced finely. To me, this kind of gives it a pizza flavor. And it's absolutely delicious, great to get in more vegetables. And then, I hope you don't think this is gross, but I left my ground beef in this package because this is how I do it at home. On Monday, we meal pep prepped ground beef. We made batch cooked ground beef with onion. And so what I do is I take that home and then I put two cups in each zip top bag and put it in the freezer. That way I can use it throughout the week. So it saves time, it saves energy to have a protein prepped and on hand. There you go. We'll add a sprinkle of salt into that. So just mix that all around. And then what you're going to take with this beautiful mixture, by the way, by using tomato sauce and that tomato paste, I've kept it even lower carb because a lot of times in those marinara sauces, Mike, you find a lot of sugar. You turn over your spaghetti sauce and like the second ingredient is sugar. So right. watch out for those. So now you have control over that and you've just increased that delicious tomato taste, okay? So you fill the spaghetti squash. Then what we're going to do is top it with some mozzarella. Lots of mozzarella. Lots of mozzarella because it is cheesy spaghetti squash after all. Put it back in the oven. And then I always like to end it with a low broil. That way it gets, I like that crispy cheese mm -hmm. that you see right here on this one. I'm going to let Mike take a bite out of this. I'll get your bite ready for you, Mike. How about I've been that? wanting to. I mean, uh, I think it's going to be hot, so I hope you don't burn yourself, but there you go. I'm going to love it regardless. You're going to love cheese. it regardless. So what you can do is eat this yourself. Just kind of take your fork and peel apart those mm. spaghetti strands. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. It's filling. It's hearty. I think it's going to take you through a and good the squash, day. squash, what does it have? Uh, What's the good properties of it? Oh my goodness, it's filled with fiber, antioxidants, all the things that exactly. plants are, yeah. Oh, it's pretty easy to make as well. Oh, it's so easy. Yep, great to, to pop and take it to work. All right.